hello and welcome back to the channel and this time i wanted to share or i just want to share with you a very interesting package or model that i found on github and uh, this allows you to compute multiple spectral indices uh, in google earth engine and there is also a python package for that as well but um I would dwell on the JavaScript um, model for this version. And so basically, you know, if you work with remote sensing data, you probably know very well that, you know, there are times that you need to compute some spectral indices, be it vegetation, moisture, or soil, to highlight certain features within the landscape. And in most times, we also include these features to um, uh, be able to enhance the discrimination space, especially when we are doing feature extraction or classification, right? So you have a number of land cover types that you want to um, separate either by a supervised or uh, an unsupervised classification process and mostly they are similar spectral um, information for different land cover types and so computing spectral indices uh, helps a lot in um, increasing uh, the space for discriminating different uh, service features and this is what i want to share with you today so the package name uh, is called awesome spectral indices um, you'll find a whole lot of the uh, the whole details about this package uh, or software in github and i'm going to put a link uh, in the description and here multiple spectral indices have been compiled so if you check the page you see a list of vegetation indices like here uh, it includes um, popular vegetation indices like ndvi SAVI and so on, but also there is water indices, burn indices, snow indices, and so on. So, you know, these spectral indices, like I said, allows you to highlight uh, different features within the landscape. And someone graciously has provided us with this package, which I, I tried out and I found it very interesting, and I thought I, I should share it with you. And by the way, if you visit the GitHub page, uh, you will find a link to um, the JavaScript model, which is right here. But before that, you, you should take note of uh, the different parameters or attributes that are required for uh, computing any specific spectral index. So, for instance, there are specific bands that are used. And in some cases also there are um, other additional parameters that you have to input and you know this guy has uh, taken the time to include all this awesome information or details here. And so if you visit the JavaScript uh, model page in GitHub, you know, it's pretty straightforward actually. So. Um, they set out to uh, show how you can use this particular model the first of all you sort of import it and you know once you've set up an image data set or wh whatever that you want to work with you can simply bring in this model and compute some indices and what this does is basically computes the list of indices that you're interested in you know so you can provide them in a list and basically it appends all these indices to the original uh, image spectral bands and so there's a simple example demonstrating that here and so on so i prepared a very simple script to um, show how this works in google earth engine and this time uh, i'm working with a planet image the newly released planet high resolution image and in my previous video i shared news about this uh, data set and how you could you know query the data set to extract 
the particular um, uh, tiles or data that you need. And so to just recap on a bit of detail, you know, it, it's basically a data that covers the tropics, so tropical Africa, America, and Asia, and so on. And if you check the details, um, you can read all about it and how to get access to it, or you can um, just simply watch the previous video, which is GE Tutorial 2, and inform yourself accordingly. And so, yeah. Um, I'll just go ahead and uh, explain the script a little bit, which is pretty much self-explanatory, actually. So um, I just import the planet image with, this, with the first line here. And I'm interested in the data that covers Africa, so continental Africa. And with that, I filter the image to specific date and... Uh, the cadence which you know simply denotes whether you want a monthly data or um, biannual data again all the details are available in the metadata and so yeah basically to get an image from an image collection you cast it to a list and select the item within the list and then recast it back to an image object which is right here and then the next thing is to import the model, which uh, you could see how to do that in the uh, on the GitHub page, which is right here with a require argument. And if you do that, you know, you, you have to define a set of parameters. So again, uh, depending on the uh, spectral index that you're interested in, you might, you know, only have to specify the bands so in some cases certain attributes uh, like i showed you before so you just have to define all the parameters and basically once you've done that this is how you call uh, uh, the model to compute the indices so uh, it's right here you call in spectral and you can use the dot notation to call compute index provide the image on which you are computing the indices the list of indices and also the uh, parameters that you just specified and yeah basically that is it and so for this one i'm interested in calculating ndvi and the savi which is a soil adjusted vegetation index uh, and if i click on run this is the result right here so first of all uh, i printed a few things just to highlight the sort of information that uh, is contained when running this uh, in these data sets so there's a planet image and you can see the list of bands here which feeds into the parameters so uh, blue green red near infrared and so on and then the resulting uh, spectral indices that, that was computed gets added to the bands, right? So here you have it. So the NDVI and the SAVI gets added to the original image bands. And of course, if you, if you want only these um, spectral indices, you can use this um, select function to, to do that. And I sort of demonstrate that when visualizing the data, right? And I, I already um, config, configured some visualization parameters over here. That's why you see the color scale already applied. And it's quite easy, actually. So if you click on this um, uh, button, you can basically uh, select the palette and the visualization uh, parameters that you you need and so on so these are just cosmetics right but a very exciting thing about this model is the fact that you can be able to inspect every um, index that you use and get some information about it which 
I think it's really useful. It makes it easy, especially when reporting on it or you know writing a publication or and so on. And so this print uh, line here basically calls the model indices, which is a list of all the indices and that particular index, right? So you just use the dot. Uh, notation here so spectral dot indices dot ndvi and this is the results of the uh, print argument so it shows you the bands that are required for calculating ndvi which is near infrared and red bands and the source uh, of this model the contributor again the date of addition and so so a number of really important details particularly the formula for example in the reference document that uh, this particular developer um, used and again i could change ndvi to savi and when i run the script we should get some information on that too so, yeah right here so you see the formula it's a bit different so you have all these awesome details in the reference to the publication that um, developed this particular index which i think is is fantastic and to to even be more specific you could actually for instance if you want just a formula you could do dot formula Um, just add that to that and if you click on run then only the formula gets shown and so on but I think leaving it at the index it's pretty um, gives a, a very good overview of uh, all you need to know actually and I, I sort of like the fact that you could actually print out the details on that index and display them so yeah basically that is it it's uh, really um, exciting times that we live in for remote sensing and I encourage you to go and check this particular model out and experiment with it and yeah it's awesome thank you for uh, tuning in if you haven't subscribed already please uh, support the channel by subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Thank you